Yo, what's up everybody, how's it going? Today we're playing Dota 2 Multicast Reborn, which was made by Onyx quite a little while ago, but I thought it would be a fun mode for us to explore again. It's pretty straightforward. Every hero has multicast, we can multicast all of our abilities, and the multicast goes all the way up to 10 times. Yeah, it's a little bit silly. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and let's get right into the games. Okay, we got ourselves Bristleback. Now, a few things about this mode. First of all, there are no consumables. There are also no mana boots, <laughs> which I think is a little weird because honestly, having a lot of mana is not the most overpowered thing you can do in this mode, but apparently they are missing. Uh, maybe they cause crashes. That could very well be a thing, but either way, you know, just, just so you have a bit of awareness that the few things are missing in the mode uh, that you might expect in normal Dota. Then, how does the multicasting actually work? So here's our Quill Spray. If I cast Quill Spray, you can see I got a multicast and I got a four times. So you can see in the icon here, it says four. So it's gonna cast four times with a pretty lengthy delay between casts. It's two seconds between casts. And, until, and, and once those are done, then it's done. Right? And I can recast it, so I can have multiple going on at the same time. So I've got three right now, and now I've got another one with seven. Right now I can do another one, and now I've got another three. And, uh, oh, bristle back! Bristle back! Come here, nerds! Oh my god! <laughs> oh shit, I didn't get a multicast! <laughs> I got a triple kill, I'm pretty happy about that. We did not get a multicast on the last one, though. That's unfortunate. Anyway. Oh, did I just multicast TP scrolls? That's funny. So how does that work? Oh, they just spawn in front of you. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, I don't know what else would happen, really. That just is the logical thing there. Hello, friend. Good. Yeah, cool spray. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go! <laughs> nice. Very strong. Very strong. Get ourselves some more bristle back. I'm not even gonna bother with viscous nasal goo. What do I need that for? Take these guys down. Now, do I get Octarinko first or do I get Bloodstone first? I think that's definitely a big question here. A very important question that we need to figure out. They're both good. They both strike me as fantastic options. Anyway, we got our contract for the new apartment today. So it seems like everything is working out finally. Everything is fully set in stone at this stage. We went through the contract. The contract is fine. The thing about the contract is that it's like a template. And I mean that very literally. Like it's literally just a template contract that they clearly just got off some website. That's not to say that it's bad. It just is to say that these are people that just clearly they just have a place they want to rent out rent out you know they're not like professionals in this regard which in my mind is actually kind of a good thing because that means they'll probably just leave us alone and um you know they're just kind of looking for a place to they're just kind of looking to to have people living there but also uh we're gonna go up there again this weekend so this saturday today is wednesday this saturday we're going up again um, just to kind of like have a look around, we want to have a look at Mickey's University, see what that's like uh, in a bit more detail, because we didn't really get a chance last time we were up there. So we want to go look at the university a bit more, and then also look around the neighborhood a little bit, so we have an idea of what to expect. And then finally, take another look at the apartment, um, not for deciding whether or not we want to live there, uh, we're pretty set on that, um, but instead for figuring out how we're going to put in furniture. Oh. So that's a problem. <laughs> I don't think we can do anything about that. <laughs> uh, okay, Zeus. Sure. I mean, it's, I think I think we're just gonna die every once in a while to the Zeus. Obviously, we're gonna tank up a lot as Bristleback, but um, we could get Blade Mail. Oh, yes, that's smart. Let's do that. All right, everybody buys Blade Mail. If we all get Blade Mail, because the first Zeus hit, that's not gonna kill us, but the next few are gonna... So is Mickey going to stay over in Gießen uh, first while the pre-classes start? So no, um, we looked into that. The original idea was maybe we can get her a place to stay. But actually, the first set of her classes conveniently also offer all of it online. So she's got some prep courses 
that she needs to take. But the first set, kind of the first two weeks of prep courses are available online. And the second two set, uh, the second set of prep courses, the last two weeks, are all in person. But conveniently, we will be able to move in on the 15th, which means that she'll be able to be up there for the second set. So in that way, it's all good. It all lines up with our timeline. Uh, we would ideally like to move in earlier, of course, or have a bit more time to move in. It's going to be very hectic once we actually start with that. But it's not too bad. It is all perfectly manageable. But yeah. Do need to figure out a kitchen, though. That's something. Uh, this place does not have a kitchen, which is pretty normal in Germany. Apparently not outside of Germany. I learned that. People were telling me that. Uh, that apparently outside of Germany, uh, you are expected to provide your tenants with a kitchen. Which makes sense, but in Germany, no, apparently not. That's not how it works. <laughs> it is apparently acceptable to uh, just kind of... Oh, okay, well, the yours is annoying. Oh, put me down, please. All right. Well, I mean, you don't want to just sit there. <laughs> okay. Oh, what happened? No! What crashed it? Was it? I think I know what it is. Did I get multicast? Why? Like, did I have the yours cast on me through the multicast while I was respawning <laughs> with the edges? <laughs> Or did the Edges multicast? I would bet it's Edges related. <laughs> okay, let's just let's just get right back into it. Let, let me just reload really quick. We'll get right back into another game. Okay, we are back. We're back to an earlier point in the game. We have largely the same heroes. I mean, not exactly, but largely. Hopefully it won't crash this time. And as I already said, we're just gonna ban Edges. Just gonna ban Edges because Edges is illegal and crashes the game maybe i hope i hope it's edges i hope it's not something else <laughs> but anyway so we'll see what we can do here oh hello hello dear player okay Ooh, didn't we just have this exact same situation nice except this time i, I died immediately but i didn't also get some kills i got first blood so i feel all right about it it's not too bad not too bad at all is that a magic missile that's still coming at me? I'm gonna go back to the fountain. No! <laughs> no! Mercy! Oh my god, let me go! I'm just a poor bristleback trying my best. Oh, painful, dude. Horrific. Just having magic missiles coming out of nowhere. <clears throat> hey, Tostenko, that's... Kind of weird and also cool. I'm glad you're doing well. Also, you continue to kind of like fulfill my target audience expectations, which are gay, comma, PhD. Um, sometimes with comma, sometimes without comma. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure why that is a significant portion of my demographic, but somehow. <laughs> Anyway. So we'll grab ourselves energy booster. Am I going up against the Zeus in the mid lane? It seems like it. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. But I guess this is where we are. I mean, maybe it's fine. Okay, we've got slows. Nice. Actually, it is fine. Look at us. I'll get a voodoo mask early, so I've got some healing. That doesn't seem like a terrible idea. Just get some, you know, HP restoration going. Oh, no. Oh, no, Zeus! I might still kill Roshan because I can. And, um, you know, I'm just not going to pick up the edges. I hope that's all right. Oh, go away. I'm straight. Well, but do you have a PhD? See? See? That's it. That's how it goes. Now you've... That's how easy it is. All of the sudden, 
you all have education. <laughs> well, <laughs> don't tell me you actually do. <laughs> I do have a PhD. <laughs> <laughs> Soon. That counts. That that counts. <laughs> so you see, that's what I'm saying. I didn't I didn't say that it, the two things are necessarily connected. I said comma. There's a comma in between, which can is it's kind of an and or situation, you know. Is it weird to use and or, like when spoken, by the way? Because for the IO video, there were a few moments where I was just like, I don't know how else, how, how to say this in a way that feels more fluent. So I'm just going to say and or. Well, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just going to do that. Like, fuck it. I'll just, I'll just say and or whatever. This, this is precise. This is, this is what I'm trying to communicate. It is accurate. All right. Ugh. I am Bami from the future, and I'm here to tell you, you need to save the planet, and the only way you can do it is by leaving a like on the video. Oh no. So we're just gonna go ahead and slam all of this stuff. Take down Roshan, no big deal. As I already said, I'm not going to take the edges. I'm just gonna take the kill. Alright, destroy it. There you go. Very good. I'll pick up a blade mail right now. Just so we've got that figured out. Just so that's all good to go. And as soon as the Zeus feels inclined to click that ultimate, we'll take that, we'll click the blade mail, and then we'll be fine. Well, we'll probably not be fine, but neither will be the Zeus, and ultimately that's my goal. <laughs> Oh, hello. No, no thank you. I mean, this is actually not that big of a deal. It's just annoying. But it's not that much damage, to be honest. Hmm. I need magic resistance. Okay, let's get some magic resistance. I'm just getting all of these small things. Right? These smaller items that don't really do anything. But I ultimately need to kind of work my way upwards here. I need to get the big stuff slowly. Okay. I don't think you multicast that. Get wrecked. <laughs> That's very good. That's very good. We'll get 1.5 mana region. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, that's not good. Nope. Alright, blade mail. Oh, okay. At least we got a return kill. At least that... I think that's okay. I mean, it's not ideal, but that's just going to happen. People have a lot of damage. People have a lot of disable. So we are gonna just... Blade mail them down to the best of our abilities. And I mean, honestly, if we can get a bunch of money, which is currently not working out so well, but if we can get a bunch of money, we might actually be fine. Uh, because we'll bristle back. And then we just turn around and nuke them down with blade mail and all of the other fun stuff. Oh, this dude we can't do damage to. That's a problem. Nope, we can do damage to him. We are fine. <laughs> We can do damage to whoever we want to do damage to. There's no need to be afraid of anything. We got it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Although I did still die to the uh, Ember Spirit. Yeah, um... Nullifier, does that get rid of the Necroforce W? I think so, right? I think we can purge that. So, probably need one of those. Because as is, I actually can't do damage to the Necrophos. And I mean, to be honest, it's not gonna be... I think there's a pretty high chance of other players also purchasing Ethereal. Which would be a problem. Nice. Cool, we live. Oops, maybe not for that long. 
Oh, yep, that's it. <laughs> oh, it bounces off of my dead body. Oh, that's just brutal. Let's get magic resistance before we do anything else here. You know, we gotta kind of build up our defenses. We gotta build up our survivability. But we did manage to get another kill. I mean, we're playing from behind right now, so I think overall we're happy as long as we're just getting a few pickoffs here and there. How many blade mails do we have? We have four. Why is Dasus not using his ultimate? <laughs> Come on, buddy, do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, there it is. Blade mail. Yes. Wait, no. Really? We didn't kill? With four blade mails? Okay, well that's kind of sad. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I just I can't actually deal damage to this guy. Yeah. Necrophos just like super hard counters me. Well, hmm. I'm gonna need Octarine and I'm going to need a Nullifier. Pretty sure about that. Or maybe I can just leave that guy up to my team. Zeus is dead. Did we kill the Zeus? Oh, we did kill the Zeus. Sorry. Hard to see. It's a little difficult to tell what exactly is going on sometimes. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, unfortunately, one of uh, Bristleback's weaknesses is roaring its ugly head. But uh, we're just going to have to focus on getting some money. Oh, Trickster's Cloak. Hell yeah. Oh, that's actually so good. I love it. We'll get rid of all of this stuff. We'll grab ourselves the uh, Eternal Shroud. Next up, either Octarine Core or the other thing, the Nullifier. I mean, I'm gonna need both. I'm not sure which one I should start out with. But for now, probably best to get the Nullifier. Because, like, without it, I just can't actually hurt the Necrophos. And that would be bad. For, you know, kind of obvious reasons. Like this. This right here is bad. <laughs> Yep, yeah, gonna need Nullifier, gonna need it. Get him, Shadow Fiend! <gasps> Do you multicast that? Oh, you can! That is so brutal! Oh my god! That is devastating! Whew! Alright, luckily we have Shadow Fiend who does a lot of magic damage. So I do the physical damage, which doesn't kill things, and then Shadow Fiend does the magic damage, which kills things, and then everybody's happy. Maybe. We'll see. I think I started this fault earlier, but we have to get a kitchen. We have to get a kitchen, because it's not standard in Germany for apartments to have kitchens. Uh, and instead, you're often expected to install and purchase your own. Okay. Somehow, I am still alive. I mean, I almost killed the Ogre Magi too. I am so close. Like, genuinely, if I just had a bit more survivability, things would be brutal. I don't think they could really kill us. <sighs> I really hate having to have the Nullifier. It's not good. But yeah, we gotta buy a kitchen. Uh, but you know what? I'm just gonna use this as an excuse to get a really nice kitchen. I've wanted a really nice kitchen for a very long time. And this is just gonna be my moment. My moment where I get to just decide what I want. And it's gonna cost like 10 grand. Because <laughs> kitchens are expensive. <laughs> but you know what? I, that's just what I am. I'm not down for paying 10 grand for wallpaper. That other landlady can go fuck herself. But I am down to pay 10 grand for a really nice kitchen. Just... You know, one time, just get myself something big like that. So that's my that's my plan there. Ooh. Okay, hello. Thank you. 
Oh no! Wait, wait, wait! <laughs> Get wrecked, nerd! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'm still stunned. Oh, come on! But I got him. I got him. I feel okay about that. What if you just build a fire pit instead of a kitchen? Start cooking things, things on an open flame. Then I can be like Gordon Ramsay. Did you guys see that video of Gordon Ramsay just absolutely ruining um, a cheese sandwich? Like a grilled cheese sandwich? Just doing the worst job of making a grilled cheese sandwich that I've seen in my goddamn life. <laughs> Because he insisted on doing it over an open flame. <laughs> and, then, and he just like burns the bread and the cheese doesn't melt properly. I would recommend that video. I don't I don't know what it's called. I'm sure somebody can find it and link it. But just find that video of Gordon Ramsay. Doing his usual shtick of telling, yeah, this is gonna be wonderful, it's perfect, look, fantastic, beautiful. Just a little bit of olive oil, just dunks it in a vat of olive oil. Except he does it for a grilled cheese sandwich and just butchers it. <laughs> There's not a lot of cooking stuff that I can do better than Gordon Ramsay, but I'm pretty convinced I can make a better cheese sandwich than he can. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Alright, 15 damage. Did he admit to his mistakes or did he try to claim it when I sent No, he, he went all the way through with it at the end. At the end, he had this like half cooked, half cooked cheese melt. And he was just like, oh, it's great. This is perfect. This is exactly what I had in mind. And it's just like such an obvious lie. It's great. It's a great video. Okay, so I I am just kind of stuck up here. Oh my god. My radius is too small. I'm just getting hit from everything everywhere. And I just, my radius is too small. God damn it. I get rid of Boots of Speed and I get a Saint Shinkaya, right? Oh, thanks, chat. Thanks for linking it. I am i can't watch it on stream. I can't show it in the video. That shit's gonna get a copy strike. For sure. But, I do recommend it. <laughs> I mean, just, just go watch it. You'll, you'll get what I mean. <clears throat> Do I get Lotus Orb? <sighs> the thing about Lotus Orb is just it's just a little I mean it's like obviously great, right? Like it's obviously broken. <sighs> okay, you know what? Screw it. Let's get Lotus Orb then. Why not? I think nobody's holding back here anyway, so we might as well get the broken stuff. All right. Oh, well. Okay. No, we're chilling. Yes, let's go! Bristle back. Now that's what I'm talking about. All right, let's get Lotus Orb. And I will just load sort myself along with everything else that we're applying. And it's gonna be a great time. <clears throat> I love how the grilled cheese has this burnt edge on the bread and the cheese is only half melted and he's like, look at this perfect comfort food, right? <laughs> it's great. It's a good video. It's a good video. There's like two. I. I. There's definitely a certain 
element, I think. So I, I personally really enjoy watching people that are really good at something do something that they're really good at. Right? I think that's great. There's also a very similar sense of enjoyment, though. Watching somebody who's really good at something perform really badly at that same thing. <laughs> Another dollar out of Jeff's pocket less than three. Right? There's like, this is, it's a different, different sense of enjoyment. Um, but it's still very real. And you call me a hater. Well, Mickey, I'm not the one that's hating on brain damaged people trying their best at a parkour event. Don't call me a hypocrite for that. Just because I'm, <laughs> just because I'm hating a little bit, doesn't mean I'm anywhere near your level of hating. Okay. <clears throat> We are watching Ultimate Beastmaster. Oh, god damn it. We're watching Ultimate Beastmaster, which is like this. What do you call it? It's like you got you got it's like this this obstacle course. There you go. It's this obstacle course TV show. It's nothing. It's stupid, but it's kind of fun to watch. It's really it's something that's only worth watching if you don't want to pay attention to what you're watching. You know what I mean? Um, but then it's worth watching. But Mickey is just the biggest hater. She's just always hating on the people there. And there was this one dude... <laughs> who, you know, like with every person they tried to give them a bit of a story. And his story was that he got into an accident like five years ago where he got brain damage and then he was told he would never be able to walk again and now he, he here he is competing at the obstacle course not only you know being able to do it but actually doing incredibly well and it was inspirational and everybody was excited for him and Mickey just was hating on him the entire time so now I've decided that she's a hater and she keeps claiming that she's not a hater and I think we can all agree that she's a hater. Okay. So. Hello. Are you... If you have very much... like my hate is justified you did when not, this man... You did not... He's just a hater. The camera, he did not say that. I have brain damage, which makes my, my thinking like quicker in some aspects. That's like, not what he said. This bro, is just com completely <laughs> out of context. It's just no, that's exactly not true. <laughs> no, that is not what he said. I'm pretty sure that's almost word for word what he actually said. <laughs> you like, just wanna... <laughs> that's just what you want him to say because you're a hater. Hey, oh my god, I'm me. so dead. Stop gaslighting me about it's not a fun accusation to do that. If you're gonna say that, you can go. No. Honey, I'm trying to record a video. I, I don't know. need you coming in here telling people that I'm gaslighting you because you're a hater. <laughs> okay, well... Alright, come on. I'm please. Not... Thank you. Not a hater. Get... Please. Okay. Anyway. <clears throat> so... I can't do damage. I think they got us. Because they've just... I don't know. They've too much ethereal. Oh, I couldn't really hit this guy. Are we actually able to ever push anything? What if I get force boots? Oh, you need to self-cast them in this mode. But now I'm just like... Always zooming around. And it's a dispel. Ooh, that actually seems really good. And it's got a fairly low cooldown. No, that's not what I want to do. Come on! There we go. And we got it. Nice. This is what I like to see. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, this is actually working so well. <laughs> I'm just zooming. <laughs> Oh 
my god, I got him. Okay, okay, okay. I'm a little trapped. Oh, that's not good. Oh my god, I got a triple kill? Is this... There's a hero? That's an illusion. Oh my god. Force boots, friends. Force boots. Okay. Oops. Maybe a problem. Oh, maybe not. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, maybe we are fine. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's push. I have a hard time pushing because I'm always zooming. Zeus died to the blade man. Good, good, good. Okay, I'm trying to push. My damage output is not as high as we would like it to be, but those are not terrible, all things considered. We're getting a bunch of return stuns. Ooh. Come on! No! Ah! Permanently stunned. Permanently locked down. I wish I could get rid of the Nullifier. Like, genuinely, if instead of the Nullifier I had a Kaya and a Sange, I would be so much more powerful. But I don't think I can get rid of anything, can I? I mean, we could try to replace Eternal Shroud with just... Pipe? Do I need Eternal Shroud? Probably, right? But pipe is way more magic resistance. I should definitely get pipe instead. Yeah, we should definitely get pipe instead. Alright, pipe of insight. And then... Hmm. This game is taking a lot longer than I thought it was, was gonna. Alright. Well, we're just gonna kind of zoom over there. Go, 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 go. Oops. I don't know. Last time I did way more damage. They get like bad multicasts or something. Alright. Yeah, well. I think they got us. Well, I don't know if they can push, but they at least managed to kill us here. It's kind of the problem. Nobody actually has any like right click stuff. Because, <laughs> like, how would you? How would you go about getting that? It's basically impossible to. To attack anyone. Wait, I have a stack of Reaper Scythe. <laughs> now that is actually quite special, I have to say. I'm, I'm very proud of this. Let's pick up a Moon Shard. Wait, is there no Moon Shard? I guess not. Alright, no Moon Shard for us. Okay, there they are. Alright, we're gonna try to get in there. Oh! Oh, no! I think we finally managed to kill it. I'm honestly impressed that it lasted as long as it did. <laughs> you know what? I'm, da I'm down for calling that a draw. Who knows who was gonna win that one? Like, for once... 
for once, like, seriously, I don't think anybody knows who was gonna win that one. I think that's just a draw. Let's just do a second game. Let's see what that's about. Okay, we got ourselves Omni Knight, which is exciting because we get an inbuilt dispel so we can get rid of the silence. We're going up against Silencer, so well, that's gonna be annoying. But um, we do have Heavenly Grace, which, weirdly enough, is actually kind of a hard counter to it. We'll get a ton of strength. I thought Omni Knight would be fun because in the last match I got disabled a lot, right? I got locked down by all kinds of different abilities. But this is a hard dispel. That's pretty good. And I can apply it to myself and an ally. Like if I do this, now we're just like constantly being hard dispelled like this, right? And that's pretty handy. So that was my idea. That was my thinking. And it's also just like a nice ability in general. And then on top of that, of course, we get purification. We can throw Hammer of Purity. It'll all be very pure, apparently. But hey. Okay. So we just get rid of that. So no more silence. Don't need to worry about it. Look at that. That's some value, isn't it? I don't know. I thought it was a fun idea. Let's get ourselves uh, Octarine Core, I think, as soon as possible. I think that's our playstyle of this build. We just want to spam our abilities as much as we can. Hammer of Purity. This is an ability... I haven't really played Omni Knight since all of his reworks. Yeah, Purification is just like a heal. Same as before. Hammer of Purity, though. This is now damage. He deals damage based on our base damage, and it's a slow... So that's all right. We can get 50 base damage, damn. Does it refresh the duration? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see it just like reapplies it. Totally works the way we want it to. There you go. You see? Every time we get a new one. Hammer. And that should be a kill. Maybe? Yeah, I think we're okay. Wait, what? What was that? Why was it taking damage? I took damage from something. <laughs> And we are a little low on little low on mana, so I don't know if I can help you. I'm gonna throw in a hammer. But I only got a two times multicast, so that's not too good. Does this do damage to me? Wait a second, what? No. It felt like I why was I slowed? Did you guys see that? Is it hitting me as well, or am I just imagining that? I'm really not sure. Alright, let's get a Void Stone, so we've got some mana regeneration. Then we'll just wait a little bit. And uh, honestly, if we just use a Purification really quick, that should get us back to full health. This Bounty Hunter, but there you go. Oh my god, ten times. Yeah, that'll take care of it. Now you can't even really touch us anymore. Where's this bounty hunter? I mean, he keeps going invisible somewhere. <laughs> yep, this is the plan, very much so. We just use our incredible healing to constantly keep us going and reset stuns. Makes us really powerful. Also can be used on the team. Look at that. Although I'm a little low on mana, but I guess that's fine. We'll just, yeah, we'll just get mana. It's fine. <clears throat> okay. Good. I multicast the hammer, but now it's hitting me. It's also hitting my target. It's really strange. I'm not sure why it's hitting both of us. I couldn't tell you why, but it is. So we don't want to use this hammer that much. I mean, I think a little bit of it is going to be fine anyway. But we, we want to be a little careful with it, because it does have the potential of just kind of killing us. <laughs> Which wouldn't be great. So we get ourselves an Octarine Core, and we got to get ourselves a Lotus Orb. You know what, maybe we just get the Lotus Orb right away. Because ultimately, the silence is going to be a problem. Oh my. Oh my, that hurts too, doesn't it? Well, do your thing, buddy. We'll dispel that. Now he's just throwing shurikens at a creep, which does very little. Ah! 
Ooh, no, no, no. That's a kill. All right. Yeah, I've been on low mana for a while now, just kind of like living off of the Ethernance regeneration. We're gonna have to fix the mana problem, but after we fix the mana problem, I think we'll be just fine. Can items multicast? Yeah, items do multicast as well. That's why Blade Mail and Bloodstone and all of that is so, so good. Hello. So now we've got a pretty good level of protection going on. Because we're just constantly purging everything. We're spamming heals on ourselves. <laughs> we're also spamming damage on ourselves, but I think that's okay. Oh, this is painful though. But don't worry about it. We didn't multicast. Oh dear. Maybe we should worry a little bit. But nope, we're fine. I do just need to actually multicast stuff. That's definitely important. Hello. Oh, okay. We didn't multicast again. Hmm. That's bad. <laughs> but I think we're gonna be fine. Because that's not enough to kill in time. And that's a lot of stuns. Oh, that's a nine times. Perfect. Wait. No? I guess it wasn't. I guess that was still my Heavenly Grace nine times. Did I just not multicast Purification three times in a row? Well, I guess that's just how it goes sometimes. Four times? Wait a second. Now, this is getting a little suspicious, isn't it? Alright, we'll apply this. So, yep, we perched the silence. There we go. We can multicast it. We're just getting unlucky. <laughs> well, at least we know. At least we know that now. Nice. Look at Razor. But we're keeping him going. Keeping him healthy. So that's a Lotus Orb. With that, we have more mana. And also, we got a an additional Dispel. Which will work even if we're silenced. The problem with Heavenly Grace is that it's going to be great at dealing with the silence if we manage to cast it before it. But we obviously can't use it if we are already silenced. Then we can't do anything. Oh my god, Razor. Yep, that's Razor for you. For sure. Ultimate? Yeah, we're fine. Don't worry about it. You don't want to walk into the wall. That's bad. So I'm slightly out of mana again. I'm regenerating mana pretty quickly. There you go. Four times. Should probably get this guy back to a reasonably healthy amount of mana. So, health. I need to get myself back to a reasonably healthy amount of mana. Well, okay. I'm guessing we just chill for a little bit. Or do I go back? Hey, Plank Carrier, thanks for the 11 months, my friend. Appreciate it. It's very nice of you. Okay. Now we've got Lotus Orb. Look at that. We can use that to protect people. We can use everything we've got to protect people. Is that on me? Alright. Healing. It's fine. We're chilling. No, we're not! <laughs> <laughs> but we are firing back some missiles. Ah, but it wasn't quite enough. Maybe I do need a bloodstone as well. We need a bunch of stuff. Purification cooldown, yes please. I mean, honestly, I want that purification damage slash heal. Yes, that would be great. Was that level 20 town plus 3 heavenly grace strength HP region per debuff? Is that good? I, this is honestly something I find very interesting now because it's such a low number that it makes me think it's broken. <laughs> hey, it's Jamie. Thanks for the 21 months. Appreciate that. All of it is going to the kitchen fund. Thank you, thank you. Oh, sure, I can. Okay, sure. <laughs> Throwing a hammer right back at him. Alright, here's a buff. Here's some heals. 
Don't worry about it. If we find anybody, we're gonna... We're gonna take him down. There you go. Throw in that buff. It's like one of those effects where I feel like in the right circumstances, plus three, it's probably crazy powerful. But in, like, average circumstances, is that that much? I mean, how many debuffs do you get in a fight? That's actually, like, an interesting question, isn't it? Like, how many do you get in a fight? Like, what is an average outcome there? I honestly couldn't tell you. I have no idea. Okay. We are trying to heal. We're doing pretty well. Yup. Continue healing. Continue healing. Oh, my God. Let's go, on the Knight. Look at him go! Just freaking invincible. Yup. Just keep it coming. Even gonna throw a hammer in. Yeah! Not a problem. The only problem is mana. But we're fixing that. Get ourselves the Octarine Core. And... Bloodstone? Now, Bloodstone feels a little pointless. That doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem like it would do anything. Do you just get, like, Lincoln's Hex... E-Blade, Yules, Orchid. I mean, there's a variety of stuff. I think I just get a Lincoln's. Holy Locket. Oh, that sounds fun. Sure, let's get a Holy Locket. Although, that doesn't really, like, super fix mana. Because it's not... Doesn't, doesn't actually, you know, give that much mana. But it's a little bit, which is fine. I will get a Fallen Sky. You guys know why I'm getting a Fallen Sky? Because it's fucking sick. Also, it has 10 mana region. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty good. That's gonna be handy. Um, but also, it's fucking sick and I love it. Cool. Eye of the Vizier. Oh, that's the cast range thing. Okay, well, I'm not particularly enthusiastic about that. Okay, who are we buffing? I think just the whoever is closest. We're not that picky. Nice. Yeah, keeping the team going. Here you're silenced? Not anymore. You're dying? Not anymore. Not on my watch. Oh, this guy's dead. <laughs> oh no, I am turning into meteors repeatedly. That's not good. Alright, here's a buff for you, my friend. At least I'm trying to cast the buff. It's kind of difficult with the Meteor Hammer going on. I'm gonna get more of this, I guess. Here's some heals. Yeah, I think getting the uh, Holy Locket will definitely be nice. Here's some more for you. There you go, friend. Meteor Hammer. Whew! Whew! Let's go. Some more buffs here. Some more healing. Who knew that healing was gonna be king like this, dude? Well, I did. I thought Omni Knight was gonna be good. That's why I picked him. <laughs> but still. It's crazy. <laughs> like, even more effective than I thought it was gonna be. Now it heals for 390. That's actually quite a big amp. That's actually pretty significant, isn't it? I mean, like, I know it says 30%, but, like, you never really think about it that much, do you? Maybe that's just me, but I don't. All right, we're healing. No, leave my dude alone. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, shit. No. Oh. I tried. He was just too far away from me. Didn't have what it took to keep my friend alive. I get yours. I don't know. I don't like yours because with yours you're just in the air a lot. <laughs> That's not great. What else can we get to amp up our healing? That's the only thing, right? There's only holy locket for healing amp. There's no other item that does does that. We can increase our regeneration, but we're not really regenerating that much. I guess we kind of are. Like our W is regeneration. Hmm. I could also get Aghanim so I can use my ultimate a bit more. I haven't really been using this. 
Or should just tank out. I think I'll just get a hard. Just make sure we can take some hits, you know? No shenanigans. Oh, yeah. Nope. Hello, friend. Use that. Got some kills. Keep perching them. Oh. I gotta say, the Heavenly Grace spam is actually so good. Why is my camera locked? <laughs> I can't, I can't. Dota? Dota, please. It's not letting me, it's not letting me. There we go, okay, we're back. Good, good, good. Ooh. It's fine, we've got a heart to spell. Oh, we don't. How many multicasts? Five. So that's gonna keep us going for a little bit, but not forever. Healing, I'm trying. Ah, oh, sorry, I couldn't get there in time. I did try. I did try. It's just, it's difficult. Alright, here's a hammer for you. Here's some more healing. Oh, everybody stays healthy while I'm around. I don't want nobody getting sick. Except this guy. I hate that dude. <laughs> oh, no. Cool. This spell. Wait, no, that's the wrong dude. I cast it on the Viper, didn't I? Huh. Probably not. But still. No, 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 no. I'm trying to help this guy. There you go. I know somebody else is in need, but that's okay. They'll just have to wait. <laughs> I've already decided who I'm helping today, and I'm not helping any more people than that. There you go. Whew! Alright, let's go. I'm trying to push. I'm just not very good at it. Oh, wow. Hexes. I guess I could do this. I mean, that should do a good amount of damage. It is Meteor Hammer, after all. That's like its whole purpose. That's not true. Meteor Hammer's whole purpose is to be abused by uh, Outworld Devourer. It doesn't do anything other than that. <laughs> hey! We got him! Let's go! That was nice. I enjoyed that. Got ourselves a little bit of Omni Knight action, which is definitely a hero that I haven't played in quite a while. Also, Razor went a little nuts. But, I mean, I think I did well. I, I went 2 and 3 and 31. I don't know if you can ask for better stats for an Omni Knight. Those seem pretty good to me. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. We'll definitely appreciate that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.